Thanks for tuning in. In this video, we will discuss our question 8 for this November 2017 question paper. It's a question on AMA acid and bases. In the description below is the AMA link for AMA Yama video and we create for this question paper. Uh, so 8.1, 8.2 is a two-part question. Tina so we focus on question 8.1 and then so we 8.2. 8.1 but the two reactions of sulfuric acid are shown in the diagram below we have a sulfuric acid reacting with e h2o as well as e sodium hydroxide for reaction one and reaction two reaction one see i want to go by salt x a four mega as well as a product y and then you know reaction two with an ampholite a and a hydronium ion being formed 8.1.1 define a lowry bronsted base a lowry bronsted base is a proton acceptor a base is a proton acceptor and an acid is the opposite a proton donor 8.1.2 write down a balanced equation for reaction one so lapago reaction one if utatok we have a sulfuric acid which is a strong base a sodium hydroxide which is a strong base this is a strong acid and a strong base and a strong base so when the two react a uh, ct ion neutralizer each other therefore naga neutralizer and it means the ph is over equal to a seven so if the ph is equal to seven it means somewhere right so 8.1.2 um it's a reaction between sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide of course about the ph balance is over equal to seven or roughly seven or a little bit a, bit, a little bit more a little bit less but it's over around the, the the seven scale so it simply means you the goes over namanzi a four mega lapo due to the neutralizing process so therefore amanzi a formula hydrogen and this oh la is nigga ini amanzi so this sodium and this sulfate as us niggas a salt called a sodium sulfate so the salt le or this metal is a combined anale sulfate since the hydrogen and the oh have gave us amounts right the na is about two because of the ionic charge for or the charge for is sodium it's going to be a plus one and the sodium the sulfate is, is over a charge of minus two why because of spawn with lana cinema hydrogen i two so therefore the sodium is going to be two and then the SO4 is going to be SO4, right? Okay, yeah, but see balance the equation. Let's see. See no hydrogen 2, now I pass no hydrogen 2. Sulfur 1, sulfur 1. Um, oxygen I4 plus 1 I5, 4 plus 1 I5. Uh, what's missing is that Lanas na 2 yama sodium, ngapasinangaiki. We also have 2 yama. Eh, ngapas na two yama sodium, ngapas na one. So in order to balance out la ma sodium, in order to balance out le sodium, si zoti two lana. So sega balance le but since there's a two, there's a change again, man. The two also affects the oxygen na le hydrogen le, yeah. So sega na two yama hydrogen and two extra yama oxygen. So in order to balance out la ma oxygen, pega it's four oxygen. Napa plus two is six. So two ngapa nyo faga u two. Sing ama oxygen wam sega inga sega i two nangap. So it's four plus two in nigaza six. Six oxygen, six oxygen. Now so check a in ama hydrogen. So balance ama hydrogen ge much. Two yama hydrogen because of this uh, coefficient of two. Uh, ngapang nanga ike ama oxygen I four ge much. Let's check u guta balance dinner. Four um four hydrogen two plus another two is like is four so it's four hydrogen and then it's four hydrogen 
So as 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 check the overall equation with the balance ile na. Ama hydrogen a balance ile, ama oxygen a balance ile, as well as ama sodium, ama sulfur na a balance ile. So this is the balanced equation for reaction one. Eight point one point three. Write down the name of the salt represented by X. Uh, as I've mentioned, in sodium sulfate. This S O four is sulfate. What cause hello? Sulfuric acid. Okay. Um sulfuric sulfuric acid about seven silicamel it is sulfate. But the S now bono SO4, just know that it's it means sulfate. Now we know magnesium, it's going to be magnesium sulfate. If ever go no aluminium, you buy aluminium sulfate, so on and so on. 8.1.4. Write down the formula of the amphalite A. Alright, 8.1.4 is for the amphalite A. So, uh, reaction 2, we see how amphalite A as well as the hydronium ion. So, pegai, sulfuric acid reactor na manzi, isipa ini, the hydronium ion amphalite A, right? So, what actually happened is that the, the sulfuric acid, it donated one proton to this water molecule as niggas are in the hydronium ion so after donating a, a proton see taller this right so this is the amphalite uh, formula for a right 8.1.5 write down the formula of the two conjugate acid base pairs in reaction number two ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. labi baba labi baba pa so 8.1.5 this is a acid night donator a proton to this water molecule citola hydronium yona iba this so the conjugate ba base pairs acid base pairs goes by sulfuric acid now this one as well as amanzi now this hydronium ion yeah now the hydronium ion so therefore i'm a pairs way to go by acid conjugate base um base conjugate acid lona o three lo yeah lo ya o three lo ya kuzo ba o three lo ya so this is our answer now eight point two eight point two which is the second part of the question but eight point two a solution of sodium hydroxide is prepared by dissolving 6 gram of solid sodium hydroxide in five in 500 cubic centimeters of water so untata is sodium hydroxide in ifaga gupia manzi in a dissolver then in the aniastera then tola in a solution so now this solution reacts completely so that makes is sodium hydroxide the limiting reagent in this reaction because it reacts completely with 10 gram of impure ammonium chloride according to the rea in according to the equation below now come let's calculate the concentration as well as it's calculated the percentage impurity for this ammonium chloride so as telling 8.2.1 all right now um <clears throat> let us find the concentration for sodium hydroxide is equal to mass divided by molar mass times the volume why you say inside this formula because of bang you pay you mass if it was the number of moles being of lnt n divided by v so this is equal to what's the mass it's six divided by the molar mass is uh is what it's f it's going to be 40. Uh, yeah it's going to be 40 uh, because of its one plus 16 uh, that's what uh, one plus 60 one plus 16 it's 17 uh plus 20 23 yes that's 40 
that's 40 so it's going to be 40 uh, and then the volume is what is 500 cubic centimeters but so it is 0 0.5 so it divide on a thousand why is it divide on a thousand i'm a calculations way to see y ends and i'm a cubic decimeter so six divided by that six divided by 40 times 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.3 mole per cubic decimeters per cubic decimeters now 8.2.2 Sifuna e percentage impurity. So for the percentage impurity, uh, since e sodium ne, is the limiting reagent, right? <clears throat> since u ammonia ammonium chloride unama impurities, I never react completely. Uzoba in excess and the excess uzobama impurities weight, right? So tinas funokwa zuguti react the amount of this ammonium chloride which is the pure substance or the pure ammonium chloride is for no was with the in gagana and the the amount the ammonium chloride a pure a reactive but in order to find the amount a reactive for the ammonium chloride so the seven side the limiting reagent to calculate the amount of substance which reacted or which took part in this chemical reaction. So therefore, this is calculator what calculator. So this the number of moles, so seven stoichiometry to find the, the amount. So this is uh, the number of moles for sodium hydroxide. Good and the previous question is in calculating concentration. So therefore, CZOTN is equal to mass divided by molar mass. So the mass is 6 divided by 40 is equal to 6 divided by 40 is equal to 0 0.15. 0 0.15 moles of sodium hydroxide okay now since signal 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 the number of moles for e logans for e sodium hydroxide and it's the limiting reagent as well so ngenza nige manj nizotinga o calculator the amount the, the, the substance or the amount of the substance the ammonium chloride which reacted so in the so yens are is okay so check any mole ratio so check the mole ratio i can see that from the equation that one mole one mole of sodium hydroxide must react with one mole of ammonium chloride ammonium chloride ammonium chloride right so there's a one-to-one -one ratio so it means that for 0 0.15 mole of sodium hydroxide which reacts also 0 0.15 mole of ammonium chloride will also react so therefore t this is the number of moles for the ammonium chloride now we can calculate the mass ne? we can calculate the mass why anything other mass it's because of the the substance the impure substance bangi payona in grams and for no calculate percentage purity la. after finding our moles you have turn up back to ama ama gram so therefore let's go let's go so uh, the number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass right in front of the mass of the in front of the mass of the reacted amount of e, e pure ammonium chloride which is this but is ifuna in terms of grams so where there's n you substitute 0 0.15 
mass divided by the molar mass uh, the molar mass is going to be I think check it's one it's four plus fourteen plus okay so taller is a taller guy kg 53,5 okay in petty timetable you know periodic table lana I wish you could be in screen but anyway uh, and then we divide by one then we cross multiply m is going to be equal to 0 0,15 times 53,5 is equal to 8 comma zero two five grams in three decimal places this is our mass for this is the pure amount of e impure ammonium chloride the pure part of the impure ammonium chloride will take part in the in the reaction so this is the pure amount i think you know Tila. this is pure ammonium chloride ammonium chloride right so therefore the percentage purity uh, impurity uh, okay so this value is is formula with this calculator the percentage purity is formula with this calculator the percentage purity 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 not leavantoana equal to eight comma zero two five divided by ten times a hundred it's for no was a percentage i need to multiply by u hundred hundred divided by ten is equal to that times a hundred is equal to uh, 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 calculator no 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 we are going to manage. We are going divided by ten times a hundred is equal to eighty point two five. Eighty point two five percent. So the impurity is equal to a hundred percent minus eighty. 0.25 percent this is the impurity again uh, minus a hundred is equal to 19.75 19.75 so it's 19.75 you, 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 you. what's happening much what's happening Hey, nineteen point seventy nineteen point seven five seven five percent. So this is our answer. Uh, yo. So yeah, thanks for watching the video to Pelelalana guys. Now we enjoy it. Leave a like, leave a comment, share an abang and back when I'll be new. Or it's the first time watching Ama videos where while I go virtual tutorship, please consider subscribing, guys. Thanks for watching. As one and the video land in the description is a link for this question paper. Peace out.